guys, it's Alicia and welcome back to my YouTube channel! Today I'm going to be talking about a subject that is very near and dear to my heart and that is taking naps. I love taking naps. You guys honestly have no idea how much I enjoy taking naps. But not all naps are created equally. I've had some pretty great naps and some pretty bad naps. And so today I'm going to be showing with you some tips on how to have an awesome nap. So now let's get on to the video. First of all, nap for the right reasons. Don't nap because you're bored or trying to avoid life's problems because those naps aren't going to get you anywhere. There is only one valid reason for taking a nap and that is because you're tired. You wanna take a nap because you procrastinated a paper and we're up really late and you're just really exhausted, go ahead. You want to take a nap because you're really stressed about a science test you have tomorrow and so you just want to sleep instead of studying? No! Get your butt out of that bed and start studying your science! Taking a nap isn't going to help you in that case. Also, if you're not truly tired when you take a nap, the sleep quality is not going to be great. It's just going to throw off your sleep cycle for no reason. Really make sure that you want to take a nap before you take a nap. Second of all, don't set an alarm. I know I'm probably disagreeing with sleep scientists here because I've done a lot of research on naps and a lot of places say you should only take about a 20 to 30 minute nap and set an alarm and then get up. And I've tried this, but it just doesn't work for me because I set an alarm for 20 minutes, the alarm goes off, I hit snooze, the alarm goes off again, I hit snooze again, and it doesn't do anything except disrupt my nap. It's also an amazing feeling to wake up naturally and not to that sound of your alarm because that's just not a happy sound. But when you wake up naturally, you wake up more energized and I have just found that setting an alarm for a nap is just something I don't like to do. Obviously, if there's somewhere you need to be in an hour or so, I would definitely recommend setting an alarm so you don't oversleep and miss that event. But I found that if there's not somewhere I'm supposed to be, it's really hard to get myself out of bed in that 20 to 30 minute time span. The final tip I have for you guys is don't regret taking a nap. I have done this sometimes where I've had a great nap and then I've woken up and I've just wanted to kick myself and drag myself down because I'm thinking, you wasted so much time. You could have been doing something productive. You could have been doing something else. But no, you decided to take a three and a half hour nap. And then I just sort of spiral into a dark pit of despair and that's just not a good thing. Remember, you decided to take the nap. You wanted that nap. You earned that nap. And so don't beat yourself up that you decided to take a nap. It's just not a good thing. Enjoy the fact that you took a nap. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, even though it was a very random video. If you want to see more of my videos, click the information button. Remember to give this video a thumbs up and comment down below what you guys think of naps. It's okay if you don't share my strong passion for naps, but I want to hear your opinion. And remember to hit that subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button. Oh yeah, oh yeah, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Oh.